How's it going friends? Right now I am in front of Hamlin University, basically just on the campus of Hamlin University. Hamlin is located basically midway between downtown Minneapolis, downtown St. Paul, in a neighborhood called Hamlin Midway. Today's video is a virtual tour of Hamlin Midway. See what I did there? Pretty good. All right, let's get into it. How's it going y'all? My name is Jesse Lynch. I run the hardest working real estate team anywhere in the game. We are called To The Twin Cities. You can check out our website, tothetwincities.com. But this YouTube channel is all about helping you find a place to call home here in the beautiful Twin Cities of Minnesota. And that is whether you are buying a house here for the first time or moving here from across the state, across the country, across the planet, or just across town. So basically relocations and first time home buyers, that is what we do and that's what we do better than anybody else. And that's what this YouTube channel is all about. So if either of those two things appeal to you do us both a favor subscribe to the channel click the bell to get notified give the video a thumbs up and say what's up in the comments you will not regret doing so and as always if you're thinking about moving here do whatever you can to get a hold of us go to our website to the twin cities.com you can call or text the number on the screen or you can email us at info at to the twin cities.com they all lead to us and we truly cannot wait to help you out to show you around this beautiful place we call home and to be sort of your liaison in the home purchasing process. But all right, enough of that. Right now I'm standing in Newell Park. It is on the very northern edge of the Hamlin Midway area. Really great park. I love these old oak trees and all the acorns and everything. And then right back that way is BNSF. I like the railroad company. So it's a little bit of a ambiance. We'll get to that. Hamlin Midway has a lot of good stuff going for it. I'm excited to show you around. This is per special request, by the way. So thanks for asking for that. Excited to show you. Yeah, let's get into it. Okay, this intersection right here is Albert and Minnehaha. Minnehaha is right there. It's a, more of a through street going east to west within Hamlin Midway. And Hamlin Midway gets its name, first of all, Hamlin University, which is actually the first institute of higher learning in all of Minnesota. I had no idea. That's kind of fascinating, but that's the case. And it was old, didn't know it was that old. And then Midway, meaning it's midway between downtown Minneapolis and downtown St. Paul. So that makes it truly one of the most convenient locations within the metropolitan area. It's not only convenient to the downtowns, but it's gonna be convenient to the suburbs as well. Because of that, it's super close to I-94, which is probably one of the biggest arteries as far as highways in the entire state. And yeah, it's got a lot of those conveniences going for it. Also fun fact, probably the most famous resident of Hamlin Midway is maybe one of the most famous residences of residents, residents of Minnesota, which is Charles Schultz, AKA the creator of Peanuts, Peanuts, Charlie Brown, Snoopy, that whole thing, that whole gang. Yeah, the Schultzes are a powerful people. Charles Schultz, very famous for Peanuts though. Okay, like everywhere else in the world, Hamlin Midway has four major boundaries. To the north, you have Pierce Butler, route which is also midway railway or something like that basically the train tracks <laughs> cut it off to the east you have lexington to the south you have university and then to the west you have either transfer or cleveland cleveland is more of a bigger main thoroughfare so you probably know that a little bit more than transfer more or less depends on where you are in midway hamlin midway but you're about 10 maybe 12 minutes from downtown minneapolis or downtown st paul you're about 15 to 20 minutes from the airport and you have a ton of conveniences nearby super super drivable area but also on the southern border is university 
and the light rail runs along University. So there are several light rail stops on University within the Hamlin Midway area. It's hard to beat. It's hard to beat that like walkability, bikeability, going carless ability. The average commute of citizens here in Hamlin Midway is 20 minutes. And there's a population of around 13,000 people here in Hamlin Midway. It is fully developed. So there's really no like vacant land where things are developing. I imagine if it gets more dense, we'll just be going up because that's really the only place to go. You get a lot of these great craftsman homes all throughout this area. There's a huge variety of ones that are renovated and homes that are not yet renovated that are just begging to be loved a little bit, if you will. And it's almost an even split of rent to own. So 57% of the folks living here are owners and 43% are renters. And for sure, the uh, college has a lot to do with that. Obviously, anywhere near a university, you're going to need a lot of rentals to support that population. And I think given that uh, university population, it shouldn't surprise you that Hamlin Midway is considered very, very walk friendly, has a high walk score, high bike score. It's considered the eighth most walkable neighborhood in all of Minnesota. According to niche.com, Hamlin Midway gets an A plus, which is pretty awesome. It's considered the best place to live in all of Minnesota out of 477 spots, which kind of blows my mind. I just think a lot of the stats, it does very well on the stat game. One thing that it doesn't exactly excel in is public schools. The public schools here are okay. You get about a B rating, which for Minnesota really is not that good. A couple of the notable schools that serve it that are actually pretty decent. There's Como Park High School that gets a B and St. Anthony Park Elementary that gets a B plus. Everything else is pretty much below that. And you know, but it's not all bad. One thing that Hamlin Midway schools, specifically this little chunk of St. Paul schools really, really excels at is diversity. Some of the most diverse schools in all of St. Paul and all of Minnesota are right here in Hamlin Midway. And one, I would say really amazing part about Hamlin Midway is the affordability. The median sale price for single family homes here is 267,000, which compared to the average here in all of the Twin Cities, it's 357,000 right now, which actually I just read and that changed. So I think later on in this video, I'm gonna say 330 was median. That is not the case. That is a little bit dated information that I'm going off of. So 357 is the new median of the Twin Cities. Yeah, man, I mean, all in all, Hamlin Midway has a lot going for it. Here's a sort of a smaller school. You got this bigger apartment building over here, but just has a lot of good stuff going for it. And let's go for a ride, shall we? friends right here is University Avenue and right back there is Snelling and this is basically the southern edge of the Hamlin Midway area basically University is right right behind me right here that's the turf club very cool historic venue the tagline is like the best remnant of the 40s so it's been around a really long time a lot of cool like rock and roll shows and stuff going on there and I'm a fan which is always fun obviously right here there is a light rail stop University very busy road just across here the reason that I wanted to be here for a little bit is just on the other side of University which technically isn't Hamlin Midway but it has Snelling Hamlin and then there's some other neighborhood that I can't remember the name, but it's gonna have a ton of the conveniences. A huge majority of the conveniences within St. Paul are just on that side of University. A Target, a Walmart, I don't know why those are the only two things I can think of. A Cub, but then a bunch of restaurants, like more fast foodie restaurants, Bank of America, there's a Denny's. And then there's places like this spot behind me. I don't know if you're gonna be able to see it. It's called Axeman. It's like a really interesting surplus store 
store. If you ever need something and you don't know what it is you need, Axeman is a really good place to look. Super weird, but I love it. I don't know if you get any of this. Okay, just weird stuff, but it's super cool. Anyways, we're talking pros and cons of living here in the Hamlin Midway area. So pro number one, I'm just gonna say it's a lively area. It is diverse, there's culture, there's interesting stores, there are restaurants, there's obviously the college, Hamlin University is here. So there's a lot of sort of culture in that regard and just constantly stuff going on. And then I'm gonna sort of piggyback on that and say that there's a lot of conveniences, maybe not within Hamlin Midway, but super, super nearby. It's a very bikeable, relatively walkable area, depending on where you are within the Hamlin Midway neighborhood. But yeah, you're gonna be able to take the bus or take the train just about anywhere from here and kind of all of the things that you might need to live comfortably are going to be very close, very nearby, very easy to access. Which leads me actually to my third pro, which is that it's very conveniently located in relation to the two major cities. It's obviously in St. Paul, but it, again, it's halfway, it's midway between downtown St. Paul and downtown Minneapolis. Fourth pro, I kind of mentioned it earlier, but is accessibility to the public transportation, right? You have buses, plenty of buses, but then also you are right on that light rail line and that light rail line will go basically from downtown Minneapolis to downtown St. Paul. And that in itself is very convenient and makes, I get why people who don't have cars would want to live here. That's huge. I feel like that's, it's one of the most accessible spots in all of the Twin Cities if you don't have a vehicle. Okay, and then last pro I'm gonna say is it's affordable. Statistically speaking, it's a very affordable area. Median home sale price is 265,000. That is really good for the Twin Cities Metro. The median for the Twin Cities overall is 330,000. So it is, it's about $60,000 less than the median of the entire Twin Cities metropolitan area. But with that relatively low price point comes some cons. There's gonna be some things that aren't the absolute best of about this area. First of all, I'm gonna say is that right along University, which now is back over there, basically behind the CVS, there is a little bit of a, a dinge. Some of the buildings aren't super well kept. There's gonna be some trash thrown on the street and it feels quite, quite traveled, quite well used in this area. Although they're doing some things to sort of combat that. Allianz Field just went in. It's not technically in Hamlin Midway, but it is, I don't know if you can see it, probably not, right back there. It is basically the soccer stadium here, MLS soccer stadium here. And they're putting in a lot of new things right over there. And I, I do to some degree think that this is probably a path of progress, it's something to be paying attention to as a place that will sort of be on the come up. Next con is that with the light rail comes some kind of annoying traffic pattern. If you're on university, you just randomly have to just wait a long time. That can be annoying. Also, just kind of noisy, right? That's the next con. It's kind of noisy. There's a lot of other stuff going on. So it's going to be a little bit more chaotic. And then also I would say that not as much along Snelling. Snelling is very commercial area, but more so along Energy Park Drive, which is the northern border. And then along Cleveland, which is the western border, it gets really industrial. Energy Park Drive has that big railroad situation. There's trucks there all the time. There's just a lot of loud noises going on there. And then over on Cleveland, I don't even know what it all is over there, but it's right by Can Can Wonderland. There's some breweries there. So there's like some cool stuff going on, but it's not without a bit of sort of ugly industrial stuff, right? Next con is basically that there's some moments of lower pride of ownership as far as commercial buildings, but then also some of the homes. You're gonna find just some areas that are not as well kept up, some homes that it doesn't look like have been particularly well cared for, things that haven't been renovated in a long time and that kind of thing. But you know, I guess that is part of the deal of being so close to public transportation, the kind of lower price tag, that kind of thing. But all right, I am going to head over this way. I'm gonna show you around a little bit more. Oh wait, real quick, turf club mural. That's cool. All right, let's go for a ride, shall we?
right y'all right now i'm basically just in a neighborhood that i think is a good example of what a lot of hamlin midway has to offer it's gonna be these sort of craftsman homes they're all gonna be old they're all probably 100 years old or more a mixture of renovated beautifully renovated and fully untouched for the last five decades or something like that um so if you like that character if you like old hardwood floors and the big chunky trim and just these elevations that are super unique. You're gonna be able to get that here. And you're gonna be able to get it for a good price. But so anyways, if I had to sum up Hamlin Midway in three things, number one is gonna be just ultra convenient. Literally the name Hamlin Midway. Midway <laughs> means halfway between downtown Minneapolis, downtown St. Paul. So maybe you're a couple, one of you has to work downtown Minneapolis, one of you has to work downtown St. Paul. There's probably no better spot as far as <laughs> proximity than Hamlin Midway. Super convenient to both, but also not just that. Convenient in the sense of super close to conveniences and sort of amenities of the neighborhood. You're right by a Target, a Cub, a Walmart, tons of restaurants. You're by the light rail. It's a very bus friendly area. So very, very convenient as far as that goes. This is maybe one of the best neighborhoods that if you didn't have a vehicle and you were relying on public transportation, Hamlin Midway is going to be tough to beat as far as that goes. The second sort of summary item I would say is affordable. Unlike Hamlin Midway's neighbor to the south, Mac Groveland, Hamlin Midway median home price is $265,000. That is about as good as it gets. And you know, you can spend up to maybe 450K here. If you're getting something that's super renovated, tucked away in a real nice spot, 450K is probably what you're looking at. And then beyond that, I'm gonna say the last thing is there's a vibrancy here, okay? And I mean that in, I guess it's a double-edged sword, right? There's a lot going on. So that's gonna mean, I typically find, as you get closer to university, as you get a little further south in the Hamlin Midway area, really university is on the very southern border, but as you get closer to university, there's a lot more going on. It's like maybe a little bit more just lively. And I guess with that comes probably negative things too, right? With all those shops and bars and the light rail, you're gonna get some negative things that maybe you don't exactly love. And then again, on the furthest north side, you basically, it butts up right to that BNSF railway, sort of like lot, and there's a lot of stuff going on there. There's a lot of truck noises, and basically just that northern border and the southern border, there's just kind of a lot of, a lot of stuff going on. So, so take that as you will. And if you watch my videos, you know that I have a section that I call my for fans of section. There are some dogs losing their mind over here. An old lady who cannot contain the dog very well. Anyways, if you are into what you see here in Hamlin Midway, you might want to check out a few of these other spots. I'm going to say number one is Mac Roland. Maybe you like the character of these old houses and you like the tree-lined streets, but you want somewhere with better schools. Okay, Hamlin Midway, very, very good option. Maybe you like the conveniences, but you don't, don't want to be right up against them. Again, for that same reason, Mac Roland is a good option. Next one is Longfellow. I just released a video for Longfellow. Longfellow Minneapolis has some similar vibes. And for that reason alone, for just the vibes, I would say check out Longfellow. The next two I'm going to basically bundle together. Also, as I turn around here, getting a little busy back there. There's just people talking. The next two I'm gonna bundle together and say Nokomis and Powderhorn. Okay, those are basically just to the west of the Longfellow neighborhood, but there's a lot in common. Nokomis, I would say, if you want the quieter end of things, Powderhorn, if you want a little more vibrancy, a little more going on. And then lastly, I'm gonna say West 7th. If you basically want to be in St. Paul and are looking for relatively affordable with fair amount of conveniences and sort of like cultural things nearby, then for sure you're going to want to check that out. Okay, we did it. Thank you so much for watching. As always, if you are trying to make a move here, do whatever you can to get a hold of us. Check out our website, tothetwincities.com. You can email us at info at tothetwincities.com. You can call or text the number on the screen. They all lead to us. And then as always, as you exit the video, do so safely, subscribe to the channel, click the bell to get notified, give the video a thumbs up, say what's up in the comments. We would appreciate that so much. I hope you enjoyed this video. Hope it was educational, hope it was entertaining. I got a meeting to go to, so I'm gonna get to it. I right, take it easy, y'all.